Hello everybody and welcome to Ian's Bricks and as you can see I'm outside the London Leicester Square Lego store. Uh, it's a bank holiday weekend uh, here in the UK and I've been in London for the weekend having a bit of, bit of fun and a bit of a party. Uh, it's bank holiday Monday morning just before 10 o'clock so the store hasn't actually opened yet uh, so I'm going to go in. It's the first time I've been here in over a year when uh, the store reopened uh, last August I came down but I've not actually been back into the store since so I thought it was a good opportunity while it's reasonably quiet at the moment around central London to go in and have a look and see what's uh, see what's happening. Five minutes before opening, it's already quite busy. Quite a queue outside. Once in store, then I went straight upstairs to the Harry Potter uh, display that they have. These are some just some brick-built figures that they've got of all the main characters. Uh, it's not all brick-built. There are some uh, facades on the back there, but the owls there you can see are brick-built. As is Hermione there, and all those books and obviously Ron, uh, Hagrid and Harry. Really, really fantastic display. I thought I'd get there before the crowds did. A decent pick-a-brick wall as well. There's actually two parts to the pick-a-brick wall in the London Leicester Square. They've got these sort of uh, containers, some two by four uh, tiles there. Never seen these cone, half cone shapes in the pick-a-brick as well. These two by one white pieces as well. They're unusual. I'd also never seen these uh, sort of um, clear trans pieces as well. Unusual bricks there to see. Uh, some uh, profile bricks for the uh, uh, 1x4 in tan and 2x1 in grey. That was pretty much it for the pick a brick. They also had this uh, on display as well, some more Harry Potter stuff uh, with Voldemort, Nagini and uh, Bellatrix. Uh, really, really good uh, displays these. I'd love to have something like this in my own house. What do you think of it so far, Shakespeare? Still upstairs then, some of the uh, display from the top, from the upstairs part. So you have the uh, Big Ben or the Elizabeth Clock Tower. It uh, goes all the way down to the ground floor. This is where the main entrance is, people still coming in. And that's the sort of the, uh, the rainbow tree that they have. Really nice Harry Potter mural here on the wall as well. Some really, really interesting uh, builds here. Uh, these are downstairs. Uh, this is the, uh, the guard, the Queen's guard, the King's guard now, should I say, uh, and a policeman as well. Uh, some of the sets I had on display, they had the uh, Himeji Castle. Um, I just sort of wanted to take a, a picture of this because it was the first time I'd seen it sort of open like that. This is the rainbow tree that they have. Uh, this is sort of very fun and funky. Not a lot, a lot of people hanging around this actually, so I was able to get quite a good uh, um, look around this. I didn't notice this last time I was here a year, year ago, but they had this uh, British Bulldog there. That looks fantastic. Uh, and also, I didn't see this last time I was here. They have this kaleidoscope with uh, all the Lego pieces in there. And you just twist this little uh, Lego knob here and spin that round and uh, it does a kaleidoscope, which is very clever. I really like this Lego brick. Now, this is just on a window in the corner downstairs on its own. No one really was looking at it, but I really like this. I'd love something like this. If anybody builds Lego um, and has got one of these spare, I'd love to have something like this. Absolutely amazing. I mean, it's never going to happen, but yeah, it's great. Uh, upstairs again, uh, they had uh, plenty of these uh, Spice Girls brick heads still selling them for full price, $44.99. They're never going to get rid of them at that price. Price, I'm afraid. If anybody wants one of those, there's plenty left. Uh, so these are some exclusive that they have, uh, uh, things that they have in the Lego store, Leicester Square. This is Lester, L-E-S-T-E-R is the name of this character here. You can buy him in Keyring. Uh, this is the Jazz Club, and I've never seen these sort of magnifying glasses before. I thought that was an interesting way of displaying things. I had a few of these, a few finger marks on it, but you can kind of get the idea that you can look uh, look at those uh, models in more detail. They also had Bowser upstairs on display, and the Atari as well, side by side. Uh, that looks fantastic. I don't have this set yet, so uh, maybe I'll get that one day. They also had a display for some of the new Dream sets as well. So they have this sort of bookcase thing. Uh, this was the uh, turtle van and on the opposite side they had an actual built turtle van you could go and sit in there and get your picture taken if you wanted uh, they also had the uh, Diagon Alley set on display, but what I noticed for the Gringotts Wizarding Bank, they have uh, Meet the Designers on the 1st of September, so if you are in Leicester Square, maybe worth going along for that. Uh, they also had some of the Leicester poly bags as well, 40308 is the set number for that, they're 5 99 And also they had quite a few Monkey Kid sets on display, I was having a look for some retired sets but unfortunately they were only the uh, sets that are currently available, but yeah there was a really decent selection of quite a lot of the Monkey Kid sets. 
and they also had some uh, plenty of the London postcards and they still have the London buses here as well both 1349 and they had loads of plushes now normally you see one or two plushes maybe in store there's R2D2 there um, they were quite firm actually to touch I was just sort of having a quick play now this one reminded me this looks like the uh, recent picture of Donald Trump I think it's quite a grumpy face for Yoda I'm not sure that really looks like Yoda but never mind um, and they had some um, some oh there's uh, there's Chewy there some Star Wars ones had some Harry Potter as well had Dumbledore so that's pretty much it. So I hope you enjoyed this tour around the uh, Lego Square, Leicester Square. I didn't actually buy anything today. There's no uh, decent gift with purchase or anything like that. Uh, so I'm kind of holding off to the beginning of September for the uh, Harry Potter specials uh, for the gift with purchases. But for now, I just wanted really to have a look around, show you around again. I think last time I was here on opening time, it was just so busy. I wasn't really able to take some really good pictures of some of the things inside. Not a lot's really changed since, uh, since I came last year. Uh, they had a sort of a little museum area at the top um, when I came last year. It's all been changed now, advertising the new Dream set, which is fair enough, but pretty much it's the same as it was that I saw it last time. Uh, loads and loads of stock. It's getting really, really busy in there as well. So I'm going to head off uh, back to my hotel, pick my things up, and uh, I've got something else to do for today. So it's a nice sunny day. I'm going to enjoy that anyway. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time, see you then. Take care. Bye for now.